flow. Well, let's see. It's not like flowing. It's like, okay, so when I go on stage, right? So they call your name, you go on up. But before you tell that first joke, you just sort of stand there. You're in silence. And it's the thing you're supposed to be afraid of because you're telling jokes. You're on stage. You're not supposed to want there to be any silence. But I like to sit there. I like to sit there for that first two seconds and I just feel it. Then I tell the first story. And then after that, it's like my body disappears and my thought disappears. And I'm inside my body. Some part of me is still thinking, but I'm not thinking. I'm kind of locked in this same moment that I sensed when I first got on stage. So like the audience might be silent, they might be rustling, hopefully they're laughing. But what I'm doing is I'm just sort of dancing in that forever moment, I call it. It's like you're in the forever box. It's the forever box you see on television. When you look at old tapes of, you know, guys like Henny Youngman or, you know, Lenny Bruce, they're in the forever box. And in this box, you're not making choices. You're locked in your body. It's you, it's the microphone, and it's the voices that you can see outside the lights. Because you can't see anything. You can only see the first few rows, and after that, it's darkness. So you're kind of locked in this box of light, this forever box. And you're there making no choices. You're just sort of living in this moment. You're in your body, and you're dancing on the reactions of the audience. And so you and the audience, you're in this dance. You're in your body. This is why they have a person off stage who tells you how much longer you have to go on. They usually hold up a, a finger to tell you that there's one minute left because the forever box is called that for a reason. You'd be in the forever box forever if somebody didn't get you off stage. But when you're in that box, it's like there's no time. And it's a rush. It's the most awesome thing ever, especially if you're getting laughs. But even if you're not, you know that you're free there. You can do things there. But more importantly, things can do you there. That's why I go on stage. And that's what it means to me to experience flow.